Well, the Norfolk Bell Running for a special Blood of Versus, the Weekly Bull of Race edition. Let's go! So here we are at the bus station. This is where it starts on a Wednesday night. How are you, brother? At half past five. So it's free to everyone that wants to come down. So come and give it a try. But we are going to set off in that direction and head for the hills. Are you done? It's always a little bit skittish around cars and people so first big running through the town there probably isn't his favourite bit but thankfully there's not too much of this and there it's there the style and we'll be onto the tracks after that There we go, and that's the section of road done, Blotter. Now on to the, the tracks, but not only is it the tracks, it's the start of the uphill. So how are we gonna do? Come on, show us. This way, come on. Good boy. Go on, put us up this hill. Hamilton coming into view in front of there. We're gonna screw around the side and up the back. So now at this intersection here where on a Wednesday night you can either head up this way and do a three mile route or where we're going do the full five mile by taking a right here and he's uh, tangling us up here but he's eager to go come on then so I was just going to take it easy with him today and go at a nice steady grain pace but he's very very keen he's never ever been on the fells before closer still it's just down the trails of Hollywood Dean and such so, because it's secure, and because we're in the middle of nowhere, stop there, stop there. He's not going to get splattered by traffic or anything. Let's try him off lead. Come on then. Go on. Go on that. Wait for me. <laughs> Go on that. Keeps having to stop and wait for us. <laughs> Good boy. On the last few videos we've done, we've had a couple of comments asking me to explain a bit about the kit. Like, I'm no expert on kit, but here goes, item number one, 
fair coat, all natural, partially baldy due to alopecia. Item number two, monkey face base layer. Item number three, pink non-restrictive harness, small enough for a chihuahua, meant for a chicken. Item number four, overcoat. As it is two degrees cooler town centre of the day, and a couple of degrees cooler on the top, I felt this was needed. And finally, item number five, a poop bag. So there you go. Kid talk number one. So we're now on the St Cuthbert's Way section or the bit that we like to call the fun bit because most of it's downhill Still got them off leash but I think uh, by the time we get to the forest to go down the duck ponds he's going to have to go back on even though he's doing really well it just uh, gets a bit busier down there starting to come down off to sink off that's way now there's one up continuing down this way towards the forest go on you're all right Wait for me! Right, so this little bit of instructions for my good friend Donny if he's watching. Don't go down there, that'll take you back down Humbleton. Go through this gate and follow this path and that'll take you down to the pond. Okay? So I've had to put them back on the, the leashes as you can see. It gets a bit busier the closer to civilization we'll get just to be safe come on all right so here we are arriving at the duck ponds still going strong <laughs> hold on hold on hold on got a bit of baggage there come on then Next stop is Heartbreak Hill. Go. Go on then, faster. Faster. Go to that, go. So that's Heartbreak Hill done and dusted by the blotter. Go on, get done. Ah, so we are on the home stretch. All downhill from here. Let's go, go on. Go, 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 go. One last road section blotter and that's it, get done. That's where we're arriving back top of the uh, common road, I think it's called, just down there. And then we've just got the last downhill section of the road back to the car park. There you go. Am I done? Come on, brother. Go, boy. All right. Still skittish around the cars. Ah, tangled. But there we go. Blotter versus the Wooler Weekly Race. And the Blotter won. Didn't you? So now, all you people that have been maybe wondering, should I do it? Should I not do it? Well, if a two kilogram chihuahua can do it, what's your excuse? 
thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe